stop yourself, come on and reach out. I think sex is a very taboo subject. <laughs> it more so in our country. Everybody fears the word sometimes or the other. But man me sabke wo hi hota hai. Everybody wants to know as much as possible about sex and who's done it or who's doing it or what is happening. Are they doing it? Is this happening? And all kinds of stuff. Everybody, each person is interested in knowing it. Uh, Premarital sex is becoming even more rampant today. And uh, I think that the gang also has some very interesting and very strong views on this subject. So it will be good to hear them. Premarital sex, uh, I think that uh, we put too much importance on sex in our society. I think that sex is hyped up to be this huge deal, which it's, it's not. It's about your partner and you. I think that if I were to judge uh, a girl or a girlfriend or whatever, fiance, whatever it is, based on her past relationships, that'd be very unfair because her circumstances at that time were different. She might have had uh, believed that that was the guy for her and made a mature decision and a healthy choice with her partner to have sex and I should not blame her for that. I have to see her for the individual that she is. Sorry, I don't believe in it. Uh, would you like guys are uh, mother and yeah and I think uh, uh, all they want is just sex. I don't have any issues with it. It could be yes, it could be no. I don't have any. It, it's all very uh, spontaneous. <laughs> spontaneous. <laughs> uh, for me, I don't think so. It's a big thing. I think it's the decision of the girl which is more uh, useful because for a guy, it'll be normal. For most of the guys, it won't matter that much. But for a girl, it's a very big because girls are more sensitive. It totally depends whether, like, I think it's more than the person being your like lover or boyfriend. It needs to be your friend. And if you guys are like grown together, been together and you know that yeah, he is the right one so I don't think there should be an issue with you know pre matching sex but then again with I get a little scared for my parents because I like although I am like I have I have done loads of shit and all that so I don't want to oh. like uh, <laughs> not that, I do fear my parents at times so I would want to think about them and I would feel that you know what if they get hurt In, even though I know that he's the guy I have to be with him I, I, I think about my parents as well. So, kiss her, baby. It's like that. Braces? Yes. Who are you kissing today? Baby, pre-matrix sex and all. Before you get married. You don't have to do this with your parents. You don't have to do this with your Sex is something that should come with the willingness of both the partners. And uh, as long as they know they are clear in their minds as to what they are doing. Even if you're fooling around, even if you're just doing it for fun, or even if you're doing it because you're really in love, as long as that thing is clear, you should keep that clear with the yeah, other person. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with Axi that things should be clear, very clear before before you get into something, and the level of understanding should be very high. I, that's what at least I agree. But I do agree with Axi and Sumo that your intentions should be right. Kisi ka dil mat todo, baaki ash karo. I've grown up with the idea that premarital sex is not right. It's something that you do only once you are married. So yeah, that's the way I have always looked at it. And um, I guess you need to reach a certain amount of maturity age to, un to do these kind of things. Like you need to understand what you're getting into. I think two people should be mature enough uh, to understand whether if they are actually in love, not just puppy love, like, you know, you get out of 10 standard and you feel like, oh, I'm in love, so let's just go have sex. In our Indian society, the guy wouldn't face that much. But the girl who lived in with the guy, if things don't work she out... She faces the majority. I think a live-in relationship is as uh, commitment heavy as marriage is. Yeah. Exactly. Essentially, they're the same principle. One's a paper, one's not. Yeah. So, well, it's an easy, easier way out because you know you can get out of it. You can get out of it. Yeah. But once how? Once I don't think about that. No exactly. Yeah. For me, that once I've moved in with somebody, people, uh, I, I have that much commitment to that person. Again, yeah. you're, for uh, your in a living relationship, to spend time with your partner and not to just experiment. Ki ha, 
कि चलो अभी अभी टाइम पास आई हैव टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस मैच दैट्स व्हाई दैट पर्सन डिड गेट मैरिड एंड वेंट इनटू अ लिविंग रिलेशनशिप दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट इन द इंटेंशन मैटर्स अगेन आई डोंट स्टे इन अ सोसाइटी वेयर दैट यू ओपन टू अ फैक्ट दैट हां लेट्स गेट ओके फाइन आई डोंट माइंड दिस गर्ल्स एंड फॉर माय सन एंड दे ऑब्वियसली नो दैट या शी इज कम कम्स इन द बैकग्राउंड विद अ लिविंग रिलेशनशिप दैट इज द एग्जैक्ट पॉइंट ऑफ आई थिंक वी ऑल नीड टू स्टॉप वरिंग अबाउट सोशल प्रेशर्स इन लाइफ एंड लिव हाउ वी वांट टू लिव लाइफ